What we are striving to do at Reliance Medical Centers is revolutionary because we are translating what we know from the scientific literature to the real world. One of the ways we're doing this is we have uh, started a brain health and cognition program that is comprised of a brain health assessment and then also comprehensive cognitive evaluation in conjunction with primary care and wellness counseling. Early detection, um, establishing baselines for patients of their cognitive and overall health. So our brain health assessment at Reliance Medical Centers is a multi-component broad, um, basic snapshot of our patients' overall health. A unique element of Reliance's brain health and cognition program is by shifting our focus to prevention and being proactive um, and allowing for the thorough testing of uh, cognition. Generally, we tend to focus um, in, in disease, particularly diseases such as Alzheimer's, uh, at the time in the disease continuum when symptoms are outwardly visible. And then that prompts the visit to primary care or um, to a specialist. What Reliance Medical Centers is doing, we know that these degenerative diseases are brewing underneath the surface for decades prior to symptom manifestation. We're shifting the focus from the moderate stages of the disease when treatments are limited to before symptoms emerge, focusing heavily on prevention. And we want to inform, we want to educate, and we want to detect as early as possible. So we want to be proactive versus reactive at the stage when uh, symptoms emerge. In the specialty clinic, we have our in-house research lab uh, and testing rooms and also our consultation and evaluation rooms. One of the primary benefits of uh, having a brain health assessment and early detection is that there are upwards of 50 to 100 different causes of cognitive symptoms or cognitive impairment and many of those causes of those dementia symptoms are easily treatable. So being able to identify a cognitive symptom or cognitive impairment that is actually due to something readily treatable um, as opposed to it being always indicative of something degenerative is important because then by identifying that um, the cause of that symptom, it can be remediated quickly and then the impact is uh, you know, a, a benefit to older adults' health. By number one, establishing a patient's personal baseline, we have the opportunity to compare that patient to his or her prior information and that's far more telling than what's commonly done and that's um, comparing a patient's performance to a group of individuals, an average, and so we have more accurate information and the goal is to get that information as early as possible. We have the opportunity to potentially delay the onset or alter the disease course. We know from the scientific literature that we can reduce the risk of dementia. That not only adds quality of life years, but in terms of financial burden, it reduces that significantly. And so multiple, multiple benefits of early detection, focus on prevention, and then ultimately reduce risk for degenerative disease later in life. Our partnership and collaboration with the University of South Florida really elevates and differentiates Reliance Medical Centers from a traditional primary care in that, again, we have the opportunity to work closely with the university and translate science into practice. Uh, so that would be number one. And number two, patients who wouldn't normally have opportunities to participate in Alzheimer's prevention research, particularly in Polk County, have that opportunity here because we know that the majority of older adults want to participate in research. But we know that there is, again, a disconnect in terms of what is the method of being involved, where is that mechanism to connect, and re reliance is the connection. Benefits to our community ultimately benefit everyone. Uh, if we are able to delay the onset of a de degenerative condition by just one year, billions of dollars would be saved. At present, the cost of caring both direct and indirect for individuals with Alzheimer's disease is $290 billion, and that 
figure is expected to reach $1.1 trillion by 2050. So again, by focusing on preventive strategies and early detection, if we can add productive and quality of life years for our patients and their families, that's an enormous benefit. But then more broadly and financially, it reduces the economic impact um, in our nation.